another episode of this mostly sports show hosted by me, Thomas Wayne As you can see, this is not Mike Lindsay. It's Jet Carter who take over for Mike Lindsay. And Jack, how do you like your first season here at Southeastern? Uh, so far, so good. We'd like to win a few more games. We've got to do a better job coaching, but so far it's going okay. And uh, you know, we've made some improvements at the facilities, and uh, you know we just need to win a few more ball games. And tell us how you made the improvements to the ballpark. Well, we've uh, added new dugouts. We put up a new outfield wall. Uh, we also put up a new hitting facility. Uh, we're able to do that by some generous and kind alumni and businessmen here in the community of Durant. And give us a little bit about your background and where you previously coached before okay. you came to Southeastern. Okay. Well, I've basically been in Southeastern Oklahoma my whole life. Uh, I started off my coaching career at Fort Towson High School. was there one year. I moved to Caney, Oklahoma. was the head baseball and basketball coach for three years there. I uh, spent one year in Texas at SNS, Consolidated School District, uh, and then came to Durant where I was the head baseball coach for five years, uh, and then took the job at Murray State College uh, and was there seven years, and then uh, uh, now I'm here at Southeastern. And we first met at Murray State College. Yes, sir. They were my teacher at one point. Uh -huh. Where we did not have class that much because it was baseball. Well, tell them how good. Mm -hmm. Tell them, look at that camera and tell them how good an instructor I was. Huh? Is that your favorite class? Yeah. <laughs> or at least that was your favorite instructor, right? Yeah. But no, it was a busy time of year. Yes, sir. It was in baseball season, and uh, and I think that might have been my first year at, at Murray State that I had you there in class. They gave you the a promotion the next year where you didn't have Where I didn't teach, I became athletic director, yes sir, so I was no longer teaching, yes. So, how long have you been living here in Durant? Oh, in Durant, I've been here for, uh, I guess my wife and I have been married 18 years, so we've been here all 18 years. We've never moved, never left Durant. So, did you coach the high school team here in Durant? Yes, sir. I coached the high school team for five years. I was also the uh, head coach of the American Legion baseball program for seven years as well here in Durant. Uh, I know you lost against Northwestern and Oklahoma State in a non GHC matchup. Mm -hmm. So, tell us how do you improve from that contest? To tomorrow's contest in Harding. Okay. Well, there, you play the midweek games a little different than you do the conference games. Uh, we went in Tuesday's night game, going to pitch uh, six different pitchers no matter what. And so we, we changed pitchers basically about every inning, uh, letting guys get in and get some work in and some experience. And so uh, while Tuesday night was more uh, making sure everybody got some reps and some innings pitched and that kind of stuff, uh, Friday and Saturdays win it at all cost, and so uh, also we'll have our top our top three pitchers starting and our bullpen set up to win games this weekend, and it won't be just getting everybody in. So and, go ahead. And it's at 6 p.m. Why so late? Well, on Friday nights, one they do it because uh, they have lights there at Harding, uh, and so we'll have a night game, and then a, hopefully. It reduces some teams' uh, classes that they miss playing at night, and then also allows more fans to get there in the evening, other than rather than the afternoon on a, on a work day. Uh, and so we'll play Friday night at six, and then Saturday a doubleheader at two against Harding, which is a really big series for us. We're two games ahead of them uh, in the conference standings, and we're right there on the verge of jumping into the playoff scene and so you know it's a very important series for us and Harding as well. Actually looking at the schedule, I took a look at it this morning and it said the double header started at one. They switched it. They switched mm -hmm. it because they have 
they've got brand new lights on their baseball field this year and they're doing a dedication right before the game. The, I guess the, uh, the alumni that gave money for it couldn't get there until like 1.30. So they're doing a dedication of the lights to that, that gentleman and so we're going to start at 2 o'clock. Saturday. And hopefully you'll get started on a winning streak since you broke it at Northwestern. Yes, sir. We need to we need to get on a winning streak. That's for sure. Uh, winning's a lot better than losing, and uh, so hopefully we can get that thing going and, and run off about eight or nine wins in a row. That'd be all right, wouldn't it? Yes, it will. Thanks for joining me. And I hope the rest of the season goes well, and hopefully you will not get rained out. Thank you. Thank you for having me on your show. I'm a big fan of it, and I watch it on, uh, on Facebook all the time, and so uh, thank you for having me. Well, th this is the end of the Mostly Sports Show with Thomas Lillo. See you next time.